put in law as an architect, he draws all the time. He draws on Sunday. Mm -hmm. For him, that's not work. You know, he does it uh, during, whenever he has some free time. He enjoys that. I don't consider that work. But all the time we're dividing our life into so many bits and pieces and fragments. We think that this is my private life, this is my public life, this is my life at the workplace. But life itself, in its fullness, it's not something that we can divide into small bits and pieces. And in, if you are to really throw yourself into the process of life, then this means you have to be totally immersed, non-selective. If you're non-selective about life, then just sitting here doing nothing, this is a great celebration. Just drinking a cup of tea can be a really tremendous celebration. But we always feel the need we have to orchestrate something big to make life happen. Hi. A lot of people, they feel they need to orchestrate so many things and make plans to be happy. How can you make a plan to be happy? Either you are <laughs> thriving in life within yourself or you're not. You notice them, especially in childhood, those moments when you were really happy, it's not something that you were expecting. It arrived spontaneously. So, that's why there's a problem. problem. A lot of people are trying to make plans to be happy. That eventually, through a gradual process, step by step, eventually they will reach the goal. And once they reach the goal, they realize a very ironic situation that their very success becomes their failure. You've strived very hard to achieve something in life. You've fulfilled all your dreams and ambitions. And finally, once you get there, you realize that still it's unsatisfying. Now, this is a tragedy of failure, isn't it? So our ideas of success are very relative. For some person, his idea of success is maybe to make a million dollars. Somebody else, his idea of success may be to have a healthy relationship, to get married, to have children. Somebody else may be to have a PhD and do research. For an artist, maybe to create beautiful works of art. For a philosopher, it may be to look so as deeply as possible into life, as deeply as possible into existence. The ways and we go about seeking happiness are different. But essentially, everybody's seeking for his well-being. Isn't that true? And there's nothing wrong in that, right? There's nothing wrong with that, but you have to go through that whole process. It's an essential part of the whole process. You have to go through all that to realize in the first place that this is not satisfying enough. Otherwise, why will you, why will you start considering the other possibility of turning inwards onto yourself?